हेलो स्वतंत्र टीवी व्यूअर्स आई एम महिमा वेलकमिंग यू टू आर इंग्लिश बुलेटिन विथ लेटेस्ट न्यूज अपडेट्स एंड एनालिसिस प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन संडे टुक अ डिग एट तेलंगाना चीफ मिनिस्टर के चंद्रशेखर राव फॉर कॉन्टेस्टिंग द पॉल्स टू द असेंबली फ्रॉम टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसिस द चीफ मिनिस्टर इज कॉन्टेस्टिंग फ्रॉम बोथ द गजरेल एंड कामारेडी कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसिस इट इज बिकॉज बीजेपी कैंडिडेट ईटाला राजेंदर हैज बीन फील्डेड अगेंस्ट के सी आर इन गजरेल एंड ऑल्सो ड्यू टू द एंगर ऑफ फार्मर्स एंड द पुअर टूवर्ड्स द चीफ मिनिस्टर ही फॉर्दर सेट द कांग्रेस लीडर राहुल गांधी टू हैव टू लीव अमेठी एंड रन अवे टू केरला के सी आर ऑल्सो हैव टू रन अवे स्पीकिंग एट एन इलेक्शन रैली एट टू प्रान इन मेडक डिस्ट्रिक्ट The Prime Minister accused KCR of delivering scams instead of fulfilling promises of welfare schemes made to the people. At the event, Prime Minister Modi also recalled the 2611 terror attacks that took place in Mumbai in 2008. He blamed the weak governance of the previous Congress-led government at the center for failing to fight terrorism. Today on 26th November, the country became the victim of a major terrorist attack we lost many innocent countrymen in this attack this day of 2611s also reminded people of how much damage incompetent and weak governments can do to the country he said perhaps to drive his point home that a strong government is needed to fight terrorism congress ksr ek saman aap kahenge dono se raho savdhan congress ksr ek saman दोनों से रहे सावधान कांग्रेस के सी आर एक समान दोनों से रहे सावधान बीजेपी ही बढ़ाएगी तेलंगाना का मान कांग्रेस के सी आर ओखते इधर ही तो जागृत गांव उड़न दे बीजेपी मात्र में तेलंगाना प्रतिष्ठन पैंचुतुंदे Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Sunday expressed the view that the upcoming assembly elections will go a long way towards shaping the future of the state and its people addressing an election rally at Makthal in Narayanpet district the union home minister said that the upcoming elections are about deciding the future of the telangana accused the government under the leadership of chief minister k chandrasekhar rao of corruption kcr had promised to construct a 100 bed hospital and generate employment opportunities for the jobless youth of the state did he fulfill his promises shah asked the crowd at the election rally kcr also promised to build a degree college he again failed to fulfill the promise He observed he alleged that there was a prepol nexus between the BRS and the Congress KCR did nothing for the state and the people during his rule magar ek KCR ne pure Telangana ko corruption se polluted kara hai isko kaun repair karega kaun karega batao bhai are koi nahi aisa nahi hai isko aap hi repair kar sakte ho कमल के निशान पर बटन दबाकर ये के का जो करप्शन है इसका इलाज केवल और केवल तेलंगाना की जनता के हाथ में है तेलंगाना के युवाओं के हाथ में मगर के ने इसी क्षेत्र से भूमि कब्जा वो आंदोलन शुरू किया है हजारों करोड़ रुपए की सरकारी और लोगों की भूमि केसीआर के माफिया और एमएलए कब्जा कर कर अरबों खरबों रुपए का गबन करे है चीफ मिनिस्टर के चंद्रशेखर राव ऑन संडे सेड दैट देर इज अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन द भारत राष्ट्र समिति एंड द कांग्रेस द कांग्रेस पार्टी ड्यूरिंग इट्स रेजीम हैड इम्पोज वॉटर सेस ऑन फार्मर्स द बी आर एस गवर्नमेंट स्क्रैप द वॉटर सेस ही रिकॉल The government also waived the water cess arrears too. While addressing an election rally at Vimulwada, KCR said that the BRS government developed the state on all fronts. He reminded the people that the Indiram Rajam had declared Jagtial, Sirkilla and Vimulwada as disturbed areas. A number of youngsters were shot dead during the Indiram Rajam, he observed. Fear stalked the common people during the emergency. The Indiram Rajam was plagued by starvation and fear. He recalled that former Chief Minister N T Rama Rao introduced rupees kg rice scheme. 
He said that Congress Lok Sabha member and Uttam Kumar Reddy said that the Raitu Bandhu is a waste of taxpayers' money. The TPCC President A. Ravant Reddy said that a three-hour power is sufficient for the farm sector. The Congress government in Karnataka has been providing just five hours of power to the farm sector, he pointed out. He appealed to the voters to compare what the Congress party did to Telangana and what BRS did over the 10 years before making up their mind. He urged the votes to weigh all the factors before exercising their franchise. He expressed confidence that the BRS will come back to power. Congress Jamana lo rendu vandal pension undi. Dani yala rendu veil jaise kuna. Ino kate maat adgi na. Enni kala pranali ke raashe tapu. Asal pension lo endi ki yala government. Dani ke mana kaar na munda. Ebe tamasha kistu na ma. Meri engor tu nus daranar. Ii rendu vandal rupali se yevala mukla bade tarai na karta ka Hindu ban kosta jadi. Endi kate samajan lo anuko kunta kondar ki bandh loste. Kondar vidiban chitlay tar. O kamma ik bartha dani po. Inko kamma ik bartha odile se bontar mahila undu vats. Pada man pada man chitlay tevala ko alana palana unda chule ka po. To itla yevala राष्ट्रे कांग्रेस लीडर राहुल गांधी ऑन संडे सेड दैट चीफ मिनिस्टर के चंद्रशेखर राव इज रनिंग द मोस्ट करप्ट गवर्नमेंट इन द कंट्री एंड ऑल द मनी मेकिंग पोर्टफोलियोस आर विद चीफ मिनिस्टर्स फैमिली मेंबर्स ही वाज स्पीकिंग एट एन इलेक्शन रैली एट एंडोल इन मेडक डिस्ट्रिक्ट He said the six guarantees given by the Congress will be made into a law in the first cabinet meeting itself if the party is voted to power in the state and will be implemented. Today there is a fight between feudal lords and the People's Party in Telangana. He appealed to the people to ask KCR what he had done for the people. He further said the grand old party's target is to defeat the BRS in Telangana and the BJP at the national level later. Rahul Gandhi alleged that KCR is looting crores of rupees. He claimed that the Congress made Hyderabad an information technology hub. Rahul Gandhi asked KCR how much money he had stolen from Kaleshwaram lift irrigation project. KCR ne sawal pucha Congress party ne kya kiya? Main unko batata hu Congress party ne kya kiya. KCR ji, jin sadkon pe aap chalte ho, wo sadke Congress party ne banayi hai. Jis school aur university mein aapne padhai ki, wo school aur university Congress party ne banayi thi. Aur jis हैदराबाद से आप रोज करोड़ों रुपया चोरी करते हो वो हैदराबाद को कांग्रेस पार्टी ने तेलंगाना की जनता के साथ बनाया है मगर अजीब सी बात है जो नरेंद्र मोदी कहते हैं वही आप कहते हो नरेंद्र मोदी ने भी यही कहा कि कांग्रेस पार्टी ने क्या किया के भी यही कहते हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी ने क्या किया लोकसभा में जब भी नरेंद्र मोदी को जरूरत पड़ती है के पूरी मदद करते हैं चाहे जी हो चाहे नोटबंदी हो चाहे किसान के खिलाफ जो कानून बनाए वो हो जमीन अधिकरण बिल हो एकदम कैसे यार मदद करते हैं आप देखिए मैं नरेंद्र मोदी के खिलाफ लड़ता हूं पूरा देश जानता है भारत राष्ट्र समिति बी आर एस वर्किंग प्रेसिडेंट के टी रामा राव ऑन संडे डिमांडेड दैट कांग्रेस लीडर राहुल गांधी स्पेल आउट विच स्टेट फिल द हायर नंबर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट जॉब एंड द तेलंगाना गवर्नमेंट सिंस टू एड्रेसिंग अ मीडिया कॉन्फ्रेंस इन हैदराबाद ऑन संडे He said the Telangana government had filled more than 1.6 lakh vacancies since 2014 against just about 10,000 during the previous 10-year Congress rule. But the Congress leaders were spreading misinformation to mislead the youth. He cautioned the unemployed youth not to fall into the trap of unemployed Congress leaders like Rahul Gandhi and TPCC President A. Ravant Reddy. He assured the youth that the government would release a job calendar on 4th December. He also challenged the Congress to come up with facts and to name any state which filled more government jobs than Telangana in the last 10 years. Taking a dig at TPCC President Ravant Reddy, Katia questioned the Congress party's objections to the implementation of the Raitu Bandhu scheme. He accused Ravant Reddy of having a tacit understanding with the BJP. KTR said that the state government is determined to ensure double bedroom houses for every homeless person in the state. He was taking part in a road show at Chopadandi in Karimnagar district. KTR said that Telangana made rapid strides in development during the last 9 years. He warned the people that they would face difficulties if they voted for the Congress. 
the Congress, if voted to power, would provide power for only three hours to the farm sector and curtail all welfare schemes. Congress Rajya Sabha member Digvijaya Singh on Sunday made it clear that the Congress party is against divisive politics. He alleged that the BJP is invoking God for political purposes. He said that Lord Rama belongs to all and there are no politics in it. Digvijaya Singh said that the architect of the constitution B.R. Ambedkar ensured that fundamental rights are guaranteed to people. But, the BJP is stifling democracy. While addressing the media on Sunday at Gandhi Bhavan, along with CWC member Ajoy Kumar and others, Digvijaya Singh said that the people of Telangana have been seeking change. He is confident of the victory of the Congress. He said that Hyderabad city was developed during the tenure of late Chief Minister Vice Rajashikar Reddy and Outer Ring Road, Oara, came during his tenure. He said that Hyderabad city is competing with Bangalore because of YSR's vision. Digvijaya Singh said that Sonia Gandhi announced six guarantees for the betterment of all sections of the people. He said that the tenant farmers are not getting justice and Congress will extend Raitu Barosa to tenant farmers. He said that the Congress implemented all assurances given to the people when they were in power. He said that they implemented the guarantees and assurances in Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh and Karnataka states. Ki in पिछले 10 सालों में जो हमारे unfinished projects थे उन unfinished projects को पूरा करने के लिए उनको प्रोजेक्ट्स में काफी पैडिंग की गई जिसकी वजह से उनके कॉस्ट में काफी वृद्धि हुई और वो एक भ्रष्टाचार का बहुत बड़ा एक माध्यम बना आज हमारी सरकार अगर बनती है तो जिसका कि सोनिया गांधी जी के वीडियो में आप देख रहे थे महालक्ष्मी योजना रायतू भरोसा ग्रह ज्योति इंद्रामा इंदू युवा विकासम चैतू ये छह गारंटीज हम लोग जनता के सामने प्रस्तुत कर रहे हैं रायतू भरोसा के अंतर्गत ये भी बात मैं कहना चाहता हूं कि किसानों को वो 5000 रबी और 5000 खरीफ में पर एकड़ दे रहे हैं द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज स्केड्यूल्ड टू हियर अ स्पेशल लीव पिटीशन फाइल्ड बाय द आंध्र प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट चैलेंजिंग द रेगुलर बेल ग्रांटेड टू टीडीपी चीफ एंड चंद्रबाबू नायडू इन द स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन स्कैम केस अ बेंच कंप्राइजिंग जस्टिसेस बेला एम त्रिवेदी एंड एसी शर्मा विल हियर द आर्ग्युमेंट्स ऑन 28th नवंबर अर्लियर ऑन 20th नवंबर द आंध्र प्रदेश हाई कोर्ट लेड बाय जस्टिस टी मल्लिकार्जुन राव हैड ग्रांटेड नायडू रेगुलर बेल प्रॉम्प्टिंग द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू अपील अगेंस्ट द डिसीजन Andhra Pradesh Governor S. Abdul Nazir presided over Sunday's 74th Constitution Day celebrations at Raj Bhavan in Vijayawada. The ceremony, held at Darbar Hall in Raj Bhavan on Sunday, saw Governor Nazir paying homage to B.R. Ambedkar and the founding fathers of the Indian Constitution. During his address, the Governor said that the Constitution Day is not only a commemoration of the adoption of India's Constitution but also a platform to instill constitutional values among citizens. He highlighted the constitution as the nation's cornerstone. The governor underscored the founder's intention for the constitution to be adaptable rather than a rigid governance framework. We celebrated on 26th November every year to commemorate the adoption of the constitution of India 
and to honor and pay tributes to Bharat Ratna Baba Sahib Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and the founding fathers of the constitution for their great contribution. The people and the nation are indebted to the framers of the constitution for giving us the noble principles on which we derive our freedom and equality and maintain harmony in the society. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, chairman of the drafting committee, is the chief architect of the Indian constitution which provides a comprehensive and dynamic framework to guide and govern the country. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar is believed to have studied the constitutions of about 60 countries before preparing the statute of the world's largest democracy. The Union Health Ministry has advised states to immediately review public health preparedness in the wake of a surge in respiratory illness in children in northern China. In a statement on Sunday, the ministry said it has decided to proactively review preparatory measures against respiratory illnesses as a matter of abundant caution. This is noted to be important in view of the ongoing influenza and winter season that results in an increase in respiratory illness cases. The government of India is closely monitoring the situation and indicated that there is no need for any alarm, it said. In a letter to all states and union territories, the Union Health Secretary has advised them to immediately review public health and hospital preparedness such as availability of beds, drugs and vaccines for influenza, medical oxygen, antibiotics, personal protective equipment, testing kits and reagents, functionality of oxygen plants and ventilators, and infection control practices. As many as 10 passengers were injured when a private travels bus en route to Shirdi from Tirupati overturned and crashed into a divider near Suraridi Palem in Tangutur Mandal, Prakasam district. On Sunday morning, the driver of the bus, in his attempt to avoid a collision, lost control, resulting in the vehicle overturning and crashing into the divider. 10 of the 35 passengers, all relatives, sustained minor injuries and were treated at a local government hospital before returning home. Tangutu police have registered a case in connection with the incident. As the government plans to relocate transit camp offices and residences for top dignitaries, including the chief minister, ministers, chief secretary, secretaries, and heads of departments, Vishakhapatnam anticipates a surge in demand for rental properties. Real estate sources report an increase in rentals following the government's identification of properties. The government has earmarked space in various departmental properties and Millennium Tower A and B at Rishikonda Hill, totaling 2.8 lakh square feet and 1.75 lakh square feet, respectively. An engineer first-year student was found hanging on the premises of Rajiv Gandhi University of Knowledge and Technologies or Arjikud Basar on Sunday. A pall of gloom descended on the campus following the tragic incident. The deceased was identified as Ramti Praveen Kumar, 20. He hailed from Nagar Karnoon. He was found hanging in his hostel room. He was reportedly distressed by the death of his mother a month ago. The university has been rocked by a series of student suicides. The authorities attributed it to academic pressure. The university is located in pristine rural surroundings in the holy temple town of Basar. Basara temple is one of the two oldest Saraswati temples in India. A large number of pilgrims go to Basara to perform Vakshara Abhyasam, a traditional ceremony to introduce children to the world of education by worshipping goddess Saraswati. Thank you for watching Swatantra TV English Bulletin. For a complete and comprehensive English news bulletin, please do watch Swatantra TV every day. This is Mahima, signing off.
Keep watching Swatantra TV.